So in this video, we are going to discuss about debugging and we are going to uh, use the debugger in the Eclipse IDE and we will debug our Java program. So basically debugging is a way to actually monitor uh, some code and if uh, let's suppose there is a function in a uh, in a whole software and you want to monitor how it is changing the values and how it is actually performing the operations or if you want to check if the function is actually doing what is expected from it so you can use debugging in that case and uh, let's suppose you have a uh, you're working as a professional in some companies then you know, debugging is something that you should actually know so uh, now what we're going to do is i'm just uh, i will just give you a very simple example and you will be able to understand what debugging is and you will be able to do some debugging and testing and it will help you out in the future in removing bugs so let's get to the topic so this is the main class in which I have created a class student and I have created an object of this class student as student1. Now I have created a, if you will go on the student.java class. So here I have created two variables, marks and name. I have created a default constructor and you can see the values here. And I have created a function update which will update marks and name. We're not going to go into the details of this program, but it's very simple that using update, we are going to update the values of marks and name. And similarly, you can uh, we, we, are, we have created a m marks function, which will return the marks of the student reference given to it. So now you can see in this program, we uh, this is a very small program. So uh, even without debugging we will be able to understand what the errors are in the program but let's suppose we have a very big software and in that software it contains thousands of lines so basically uh, if a tester will uh, just uh, do some test like unit test which we will also discuss in a separate video and uh, if the tester comes out to know that there is something wrong with a particular function or a particular class so he'll just tell the programmer that uh, this is particular problem with this whole uh, class or a particular function and then the programmer will debug from that point and that point is known as breakpoint and uh, breakpoint is just basically the point from which you want to monitor your whole uh, program a particular function or a particular class so let's suppose in this case uh, we want to monitor how the student class or the how the update function is updating uh, the values or how the constructor is being called so let's suppose we want to monitor from this line which is this one so wherever you uh, where from the point where you want to uh, just monitor your whole program how the values of the variables are changing you will create a breakpoint here so how can you create a breakpoint here is you will just have to go on this line uh, on this space let me just zoom in so that you will be able to see it much clearly so you can see here is a fourth line if you will right click on it you will be able to see a toggle breakpoint or you can even double click and it will also show line numbers here so what you will have to do is just double click here and when you will double click here you will be able to see a small blue point which is the breakpoint and from this breakpoint we are going to debug our program so now we have created a breakpoint so uh, let's start with the debugging process now so the first thing you will have to do is you will be able to see this whole icon here which looks like a, an insect icon and it says debug main so there is a main class i will uh, you will just have to click on this icon to do the debugging work so after you will click on it it will uh, just go into the debug perspective. So what is a debug perspective? Actually, there are two perspectives. This one is the 
Java perspective. Let me focus here. You can see that this one is the Java perspective and this one is the debug perspective. So once you're in a perspective, you're actually doing that particular task. So you are now actually debugging it. So that's why we are in the debugging perspective. So now you can, you'll be able to see this whole per, in this whole perspective, this is the console and here the variables are here. Here is the breakpoints and you can see the breakpoint is on line number four and here comes the expressions and the name and the values. We're concerned about variables at this point. So you can see at this point it has executed this main function and the arguments array is string zero. So now we have reached a breakpoint. Now what we want to do is we want to monitor if this whole uh, how is this uh, class working or how is the update function working. So when you are uh, on this breakpoint it will actually break the uh, program execution before that. So the program will terminate here and now uh, it will just run till here. So that's why it is known as a breakpoint. It breaks out of the program. So now if you want to execute this line, because I want to monitor this line, so I will basically write here, I want to monitor this line. So in that case, what you will have to do is you will first, we will discuss about these three options here. Let me focus on it. This one is known as the step into this one is known as the step over and this one is the step filters we're not concerned about this at this point we are only concerned about these two the step into and the step over so let's see what they do so when you are in this line and you want to see what this line is going to do we are going to use the step into uh, key but if we just want to skip the implementation of this line and we want to go on the next line we will use the step over so that really makes sense so let's see how this function is doing sorry how this object creation line is doing so i will do a, a step into so i will click on it so when you will click on it you will be able to see in this dialog box that it has it it is actually doing some work and basically the program will uh, just not work like expected because at this point it is just creating the uh, object nothing else so that's why it has loaded this so now what i want to i will do here is now i will go on the step over so when you will step over now you will be able to see that it has returned from the load class function which is basically um, which basically means he has just the object creation or is successful so the student one is initialized so now i want to uh, step over again and now after you will step over now you can see here is an icon you can see this arrow icon this arrow icon basically specifies on which line you are and on which line you are actually debugging so you can see debug the current instruction pointer so i will quickly minimize this and i will press the step into function so basically you can see that on running this line it has created a student one object and you can see that after stepping over this line the default constructor was called and marks was initialized as zero and name was initialized as default name which was according to the uh, to this one you can see this constructor here it uh, is a default constructor and initializes marks as zero and name as this so you can see how much uh, that this feature of monitoring your code line by line and actually uh, monitoring the variables and how they are actually changing how they're returning values and everything is so much beneficial that uh, you will be able to find out where the bug is you will be able to find out at the specific line where the bug is
so uh, now let's step over this line so now when you will step over you can see that now uh, it has executed this line and now it has changed the value of marks as 95 and the name as my name which is Vishal so now it has uh, changed the values so you can see how debugging is basically used and how you can actually monitor the change in the values of the variables and uh, let's suppose you have a function also it will do the same with the function it will display the values of the of them and basically this is how you use debugging so if i will again press step over now it will just say print uh, line returned and in the console you will be able to see the output is 95 so basically uh, this is how you use debugging you create a breakpoint and you will start monitoring the whole program line by line and in this way you will be able to analyze each and every variable and how the functions are responding so you can try it uh, yourself and what you can just do is you can create your own program or if you have an existing program you can actually run this uh, debug uh, mode and you will just use this step over or step into and just see how much magical this is and how much useful this is so in the next tutorial we will study about unit test so that basically you will be able to find out uh, where is the uh, bug where is actually the bug is you will be able to test each and every function and then you can also debug on that particular function so uh, that's all, all for this tutorial thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe our channel and like our video and uh, also download our android application which is available uh, on the play store and i've given the link in the description below so just check it out it has codes and all these videos that i upload so thanks for watching